Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G, and this is Just Plain Tech. And in today's video, we are going to be installing Tiny Core Linux on a computer. This is the 32-bit version. I don't know if there's a 64-bit version, actually. I think it's just 32-bit. It is only like maybe like 100 megabytes or something. Anyway, we're installing Core Plus, which is the version that comes with Wi-Fi support and some other built-in utilities. So, yeah, let's do it. Again, like I said, using any tool, for example, Etcher, you could f easily format a Linux USB, and Tiny Core Linux is Linux, so you can use Etcher to format a Tiny Core Linux USB so we can install it. Just wanted to say that. Okay, so before we do anything, Either you're doing this from another operating system on your computer or a live CD, not of Tiny Core. So what you're going to have to do is you're actually going to have to create a partition um, beforehand. And how we're going to do that is we're going to install a software called Gparted by typing in sudo apt get install Gparted. And then enter our password. Okay, it shouldn't ask you for a password if you're on a live CD. So, yes, we want to continue. Now, the reason we're doing this on a different system before is because we actually um, we can't resize partitions and stuff in the Tiny Core installer like we can on other Linux distributions installers. So. Yeah, that's why we're doing it. All right, now we're gonna go to System Tools, Gparted, open Gparted. It may be different in your Linux distribution. I'm using Debian LXQT. All right, so that may take a minute to load. It shouldn't take more than like that much time. So Tiny Core Linux only really needs like five gigabytes. So maybe I'll give it, let's make a new, um, five gigabyte partition. So this one right here, apply. Okay, and we can close this out. So yeah, just format it as ext4, and if we need to change that later on, then we will. But for now, just do it as ext4. It does give you the option to format the disk you're going to install it on, so good. Okay, so now you might want to write that down. Write down the partition. Let me get out my phone real quick. All right, let's see. We're gonna install it on dev SDA eight. Okay, now that we got that down. We're gonna close this out and we're gonna leave shut down actually yeah, shut down okay so now what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to get out your tiny core Linux USB plug it in again you can format this using etcher and spam your boot key which in my case is F12 
If you have a hard drive password like me, enter it. All right, now we're gonna go USB HDD generic flash disk or whatever your thing is in. You can use whatever Windows man, whatever window manager you want. I'm gonna use Ice Window Manager. All right, so um, like if you're doing this on a 20 year old PC or something, that this laptop obviously isn't 20 years old. It's more like 10 years old. So it will still run modern Linux distributions like Ubuntu or Linux Mint, something like that. But um, we're just doing Tiny Core Linux for fun and because I actually kind of like it. Anyway, here we are. So. Here's our ice window manager. We got our different workspaces. Now anyway, what we're gonna go what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to TC. Actually no, first we might want to get Wi-Fi. Okay, so Alright, so that should get Wi-Fi when it's done. I think it will just automatically close out. Yep. Oh, see, starting on. Okay, so now we're gonna do TC install, and we're gonna do Frugal. Yeah, let's just do that. Whole disk. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. Let's find our path to core.gz. So we're gonna do mint sdb1 or whatever your live CD is boot core.gz so that's what it wants and now we're gonna do frugal you could do whole disk if you want I guess you don't have to do the last step if you just choose whole disk I'm gonna do existing partition so let's see SDA 8 let me check real quick to see if that's yes SDA 8 is correct and do not install bootloader. <laughs> I already have a I already have Grub, so I don't need it to install a bootloader. All right, so we're just gonna format it as a ext4. Click next. All right, core and x GUI desktop. That is what we want. Now Wi-Fi support and all this good stuff let's just click everything all right now we'll do proceed okay and there we go that's it it's gonna install um tiny core Linux it will stay installation complete it won't automatically close out or anything it will just say installation complete so you're gonna have to pay attention it should only take like 30 seconds so yeah thank you guys for watching please subscribe especially if you want a Raspberry Pi PC build guide video, and we'll see you in the next video.